In this video, I'm going to show you how to use three different formulas in Google Sheets to perform basic lookups. Now, what a lookup is, is as I switch the athlete's name, it will automatically pull out their bench press value from the data set here on the left. This is going to be a really powerful tool if you perform any sort of data analysis, create reports, or need to create your own functions and need the ability to look up different data. So let's get after it. Okay, so now to get started, um, just to orient you to the sheet, what we have here is on this left hand side, we have a data set which includes the athlete's name, the date the exercise was performed, and then the value of the exercise. And then what I'm going to teach you how to do is to use the VLOOKUP index and filter function. And then we have a brief, brief description of what that formula is going to do. And then I'll show you how to do the formula here. Now, in order to get this started, one thing that we're going to have to do is create an actual drop down menu from which to select our athlete from. So to do this, what we'll do is go to data and then data validation. And if you'll see, Google Sheets actually opens up a formula bar or a data validation bar here on the right hand side. It used to have a pop up that would pop up in the middle of your screen, but now it's on the right hand side, but it functions mostly the same. So what it's going to ask you is where to apply to the range. And then it's going to ask you what sort of data validation you want to do. In our case, we want to do a drop down from range. And the range that we want to do our drop down from is this first column here of athlete name. So we'll say A2 all the way to A. So it's just going to take all of these cells here on the left. And when I hit OK, it actually puts all of the cells into our data validation now. And if I wanted to, for whatever reason, I could actually color these so that when you select certain um, values that they actually come up in a different color. And the other thing that it's done is given us this actual like, it's like a new card style. Um, but if we go to advanced options here on the right hand side, we can select how we want it to look. So if you select arrow, it's very much the same as an old data validation. And then what I'll do is hit done here. I'll close this off and now we have our actual validation list so we can select any of our values and if we had to add another value we could just type here and then it's going to allow us to open up that data validation rules all over again. So some changes to Google Sheets and that's partly why I'm doing some of these basics videos um, to kind of update you on the new tricks. Now in order to perform this lookup what we want to be able to do is look through this list, find this athlete, and then return this column, which is the third column. So I'm going to show you three different formulas that you can use to accomplish this, all with their strengths and weaknesses, um, but it's important to know all of them so that you can use them interchangeably when it's um, called for in your projects. The first one is VLOOKUP. So what VLOOKUP does is it will search vertically. So it will go through and look down here and find the value that we're looking for and then return the number of columns over from that that we ask it to do. So the way this formula works is I'm going to type equals V lookup. And when I open this up, it's going to ask what my search key is. This is the value that you actually want to find. So in this case, we're going to select this value of athlete one. I will hit comma. It's going to ask me where I want to find it. Well, I want to find it in columns A, B, and C. Important to note that you need to include the column that you also want to return in your search criteria. So VLOOKUP is going to basically start at A, go all the way down, see if it can find it, then B, see if it can find it, and then C, see if it can find it. The next thing it's going to ask me is index, and what that's asking is what column do you want to index? So once it finds athlete one, how many columns do you want to go over to return that value? So in this case, we want three because we want to return column three's value. And then the last thing it's going to ask me is, is this list sorted? And it's not sorted in any specific way. So I'm just going to hit false. And what you'll notice is when I hit enter, it gives us the value of 134. If I were to switch to athlete nine, it's going to give us that value of 184. Now VLOOK, VLOOKUP is really powerful for simple kind of lookup solutions like that, but sometimes we need to be able to tell 
um, our formula, what row and what column we need. And that's where index can come into hand or index can come into play. So what we'll type here is equals index. And we're going to index all of our data again. So A to C comma. Now what I could do is I could find this row by myself and I could say row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then column three. And when I hit enter, I've just hard coded that in there and it will just give me the tenth row and the third column and it will um, give me that value. But what I want to do is actually match for the row. So what I'm going to do here is after the reference, it's going to ask me what row I'd like. I'll type match, open that up. And the value that I want to match for is this value of athlete nine, comma, where I want to look for it is in this first um, column here. And then false means I need an exact match. So what this evaluation does is if I highlight it, it's going to give me a value of 10 because it's going to look down here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that is our match. So we want the 10th row. And then I've already told it I want the third column. But if I didn't, I could easily just search across the top here for bench press and then it would return the 10th row and the third column. So that's index match. And then the last function is filter. Now filter is one of my personal favorites because I find it really easy to use and we can use it in conjunction with some of these other formulas. But basically how filter works is I'm going to type equals filter and then it's going to ask me the range and I want to return this range right here. The next thing it's going to ask me is what condition I want to do that under. Well, I want to do it when the first column is equal to athlete nine. And that's basically it for filter. But what it would do is if there was more than one match, it would return all of the values where it equals athlete nine. So what I can do here is hit enter and it will give us that 184 value. What I can also do is we can have multiple criteria with filters. So I could do it when um, the bench press is equal to 110. And if I hit enter, that's going to give me an error because there is no um, value that that matches. But we could have several different conditions here and have to match on all of them. So I, I tend to use filter when I have multiple things that I have to match on and I need to return that value. But all of these should be dynamic because we've coded them to this dropdown. As I update the dropdown, all of the other values will switch accordingly. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to put out more of this type of content where I am teaching you the basics um, that you can use for your sports science and or athlete monitoring projects. And we will continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.